Assistant Biology TCP. I am Mr. Wilson from the TCP Academic. Today we are looking at the May June 2022 Human and Social Biology exam. It's dated May 2022. However, this exam was actually sat in July of 2022. So it is a human and social biology paper one. Now, if you have not yet liked, share, or subscribe, it's definitely time for you to do so. And when you do, please be reminded to click that notification bell and select all so you'll be notified as soon as there is a new publication. You want to like the video so it'll be added to your playlist and you want to share it so that more of this video can pop up in front of you. Leave us a comment. Tell us where you are from. And if possible, which school you are from. You want to watch this video to the very end because there are other playlists at the end of this video for biology, human and social biology, and agriculture. You may want to join our marathon, our crash course that comes up on the weekend. We've been having these courses ever since April, the final of which will be for people to this weekend starting Friday. So today is the 18th, so it's slated to start uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow is the 19th, and the exam for this year is going to be on Monday. Without further ado, let me hop right into the paper. Uh, you will have to watch this paper to the end, and then you'll find the other part of the paper right on your screen. So click on the screen at the end of this video to find the additional. Last year, many students differed on their CXC exams as they were afraid of failure due to their level of readiness. This year, Mr. Wilson and his experienced team from tcpacademy.teachable.com is here to help you get exam ready. Subscribe for free to tcp-academy.teachable.com. We offer courses in CXC Biology, HSB, English Language, and many others. There are several offerings to each course. Enroll in one today. Item 1 refers to the following aquatic food chain. Phytoplankton, zooplankton, fish, water bird. Question number 1. The producer in the food chain is the... Alright, awesome. That's going to be our phytoplankton. These are aquatic uh, plant organisms. Uh, then we have a zooplankton, which are, of course, going to be animal-like. So our answer here is D. Two, which of the following cell organelles allow substances to pass in and out of a cell? That is, of course, going to be our cell membrane. The nucleus is actually controlling activities of the cell, but not things that are coming in and out. Number three, which of the following is an example of a terrestrial food chain? A terrestrial food chain is on land, so seaweed would not qualify this, pondweed would not qualify this. Wherever we have the plant, grasshopper, and bird, that's going to be our answer for number three. Our answer there is C. For number four, an example of the fusion is the movement of oxygen from the alveoli to, of course, the capillaries. That is a very easy one right there for us to follow. Question number five. The site of photosynthesis in plants is the, it's always going to be the chloroplast that is the organelle responsible the synthesis and it's only found in plant cells. Number six, which of the following vitamin can be produced by the skin as well as obtained from food? That's going to be vitamin D, which is pretty much activated by the sunlight uh, for the skin. Number seven, which of the following reagent gives a positive test for the main food present in a slice of baked potato? A couple of repeated questions here. This is going to be um, the iodine solution that is going to be testing for starch. So if it is present, you're going to be getting a blue-black color. Ethanol is going to be testing for uh, fats and oil. Benedict reducing sugar and burette will test for protein there. Number eight, which of the following teeth aid in grinding food into smaller pieces? Um, that's going to be our molar and premolar. So B is going to be our answer. Um, inside, so those are the um, teeth that we have at the front of the mouth. They are cutting. And um, wherever we have canine, that's for tearing. So B is always going to be the answer. Number nine, item nine refers to the following diagram of part of the human digestive system. I there being the liver, two there being, or one there being the liver, two there being the stomach and three there being the small intestine. 
which sequence correctly matches each number structure to its function. So which is going to be producing gastric juice? Every day of the week, that is going to be the stomach number two. Producing bile, that's going to be our liver there. And of course, absorption, that's going to be our small intestine. So C there being our answer for number nine. Number 10, which of the following statement is not true about the ileum? Uh, not true about the ileum. Let's look at the options here. A, it is richly supplied by blood capillaries. That is true. Um, the walls secrete enzyme, which completes digestion. And then it contains hundreds of minute proje projections called microvilli. That's true. It, is, it has a small surface area uh, for the absorption of products of digestion. That's not going to be true. It has a large surface area, which is pretty much enhanced by the microvilli. So, of course, this is going to be our answer for not. Number 11, which of the following represents the correct sequence of events in the formation of a dental cavity? You're going to have plaque because the teeth are not properly Teeth is not properly cared for. And then we're going to be having the enamel decay. And after the enamel decay, we're going to be going down to the dentine. And after the dentine, we will have an, uh, an abscess. So, of course, here it's going to be 4, 3, 2, 1. Number 12, which of the following phrases best describe ejection? Now, remember, ejection is pretty much the removal of undigested food from the body. And feces is one such material. It's not the same as excretion. So the removal of an undigested food from the alimentary canal is going to be our best option here for number 12. Number 13, Kwashioka is a deficiency disease caused by a lack of protein. B is going to be our answer every day of the week here. Marasmus would have been for um, carbohydrate. Number 14, which of the following vitamin is not a fat soluble vitamin? That's going to be C. So we have A, D, E, K, and we have B and C as our water soluble vitamin. Uh, item 15 refers to the following drawing of a model uh, used to demonstrate breathing in human. Now we have one, two, three, four. One there being the trachea, two there being the lungs, and of course, three representing the ribcage and four representing the diaphragm. Which of a labeled part represents the diaphragm? That's going to be four. Which part of a tooth prevents wear and is resistant to decay? That's going to be the enamel. Moving on, question number 17 refers to the following graph. Uh, which of the following can be deduced from the graph? All right, so here my answer is, as the number of cigarettes smoked per day um, increases, the risk of getting lung cancer also increases. Because as we move from 10 to 40, um, we observe that the graph is actually trending up, and that is pretty much showing an increase in the risk for lung, lung cancer, it increases at 40, uh, 30 times, while at 10, it only was 10. So there I chose A for my answer. Number 18, which of the following best completes the equation for aerobic respiration? Glucose plus oxygen is going to give you as waste product carbon dioxide and water. And of course, you're going to be getting some energy there. So B is our answer for number eight. Number 19, during respiration, the release of energy in a cell occurs as ATP is converted to ADP. So a phosphate would have lost with that um, energy and it goes to ADP and then the cycle will continue as a phosphate is re-added to ADP to make it ATP. So A there, the answer for 19. 20, which of the following components of a cigarette smoke reduces the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood every day it's going to be carbon monoxide and not carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is pretty much uh the most prevalent greenhouse gas nicotine addiction and of course the tar will cause the cilia to uh pretty be, much be trapped in mucus pretty much causing the person to clear the 21 item 21 refers to the following diagram of a cell where diagram represents a 
phagocyte, which is a type of white. Number 22, which of the following statement best describe the lymphatic system? Uh, this one I'm going to ask you, what is your view? Um, it consists of tissue fluid, lymph, and plasma, and is the second largest circulatory system in man. I chose D. But 22, tell me if you are going with D for your answer. 23, the left side of a heart has a thicker muscular wall in order to pump blood to the rest of the body. That is like textbook. So for 23, it's always going to be C. But 24, high blood pressure most likely leads to cardiac problem. Not stomach ulcer, not liver damage, and not lung damage, but damage of the heart. 25. Sequence of events, which sequence of events need to occur for a blood clot to form? Well, thromboplastin is going to go to prothrombin and prothrombin to thrombin. Then we are going to have fibrinogen and then fibrin. Here's the answer. And again, this is textbook. 26, I have several videos out that treat with these. Uh, item 26 refers to the following diagram of the human arm. We already seen the scapula, bicep, tricep, ulnar radius. It asks us to identify when the arm is bent or flexed. The bicep will pull onto the radius. The tricep will shorten. No. The scapula will pull down. No. The tricep will pull the ulna. Uh, no. If it is flexed, it means that the arm is bent. So these are going to be our answer there. Bicep is going to pull on. That takes us to the end of what we have planned for this presentation. Please watch to the end and you'll see the rest of this paper, along with other papers. Thanks much for watching. Please be reminded to like, share, and of course, subscribe. We want you to leave us a, a comment and I want you to tell us where are you watching from? And if possible, which school do you attend? We also are we're inviting you to join our marathon that comes up this weekend on the 17th that's friday saturday and sunday so saturday sunday and on friday we'll have one class in the evening start 30. saturday and sunday sorry we're going to be having this full blowout for the students who are doing biology come Monday morning please follow for the rest of the video at the end you'll see it there you click on the other part